something that we were waiting for on Friday, and they said we were gonna get it on Saturday morning. And then Saturday morning, they said we were gonna get it Saturday afternoon. All day today, pretty nice, but the winds are kicking up. People are still driving around doing their business. Okay, so a little break in the action. But looking at the radar right now, it looks uh, pretty bad for tonight, which is Sunday night here in Okinawa, Japan. Probably a class uh, one or category one typhoon, but it is very windy. We've actually just hit kind of a lull, and I'll show you the sky. So other than the wind and the clouds moving very rapidly, I'm not seeing a whole lot of action as far as rain, thunder, lightning, anything like that, but I guess the real fireworks are gonna happen tonight. I decided to walk El Smoco, and uh, thank you everybody for uh, commenting. His cone is off and he is a happy dog again because they keep telling us that the storm is coming, it's coming, it's coming, and so far it's not here yet. It's on Cuban time. It's the only explanation. So the storm's name, it's uh, the Thai, one of the Thai gods of rain. And we do need rain here in Okinawa. Actually, our reservoirs are low. So I'd like to thank my friend Thai for his Thai god typhoon that pretty much blew our weekend. So to those of you worried about what's going on here, we've only had wind gusts up to like 30 miles an hour. Right now we're in a lull still. I'm gonna try to get over here next to this fence where there's a break so you can see a little bit of Yomatan, the town, not so much the beach area. And you can see, I mean, here comes another, here comes another gust. But it's, it's not as bad as it could be. So here's a little bit of Yomatan that actually wasn't visible like this four months ago because they've actually cut down these trees that were along the bordering fence here. So I've actually got a pretty good view of what this place looks like. The clouds are definitely moving at a pretty good clip right now. Leave it, I'll let it play for a little bit and maybe I'll even uh, speed it up so you can see it. But we're way up there anyway, way up there on the hill. The beach is over there, as you can see the water just over those buildings and some of the waves breaking, but uh, yeah, it's definitely, the wind's picking up for sure. So what does this mean for us? So for us it means basically that we have to hunker down tonight. The reason it took so long apparently is because the storm was moving at four miles an hour and then it really, really got a fire under its ass and started going to six miles an hour. But either way, we're kind of stuck in this holding pattern of what was beautiful weather, sunny weather, until about maybe two to three hours ago when it started getting cloudy and overcast and looking uh, pretty ominous. But it is eerily quiet and then the wind kicks up and then it gets quiet again. And like I said, this morning sun, but right now, just eeriness. put it up on Facebook as well. Thanks for watching everybody. And if you know anybody in the military active duty, your spouse, give them a hug or handshake because it ain't easy. And I will see you next video. This is not the most fast. So just before I go inside, I want to show you that's rain coming. It's picking up. It's definitely picking up. But here comes the rain. Man, I can you can it's the line is just in that white fence and it's heading this way. Here a little bit. Here it comes. Let's get out of here. Kind of wondering what's going to happen there. There seems to be like some kind of like outdoor patio set that doesn't seem to be very secure. So if the storm kicks up right, it could probably kick that thing right out of there. Interesting.